Hey YouTube, what's up? Jordan is here, coming at you again. Going to be making another video of some records I bought this weekend. I uh, just want to do another real quick shout out to all of you actually who have been watching my videos. I've kind of been watching the view counts a little bit, and I've noticed that uh, four people have watched my uh, four-part series of the Onaway uh, records. About six or six people, I think, have watched the Alpina ones, um, and twelve people watched. Uh, a single video of another person I, I bought records from and away. So if you guys are watching my videos, if maybe you're a regular, I don't know if I have any regulars, uh, but thank you. Uh, again, you know, I'm just a 23 year old guy who just started a vinyl collection. Um, I've always appreciated music, every genre, and um, I saw a cool thing just this past week uh, on, I believe, NBC uh, Nightline. Do they do Nightline? Um, talking about vinyl, making a comeback actually in the United States. Uh, so I know I'm not crazy. They said it still only accounts for about 2% of America's music industry, but each of the last six years it's increased. So again, I know I'm not crazy. There's other people. They mentioned the young people are really getting involved with it, starting to realize that there's a sound to vinyl records that you just can't get with MP3s and uh, you know, CDs and stuff like that. So, so yeah, man, pick it up. I'm telling you, vinyl's coming back. Record players are cheap. Speakers are super cheap, um, depending on, I guess, what you buy. And vinyl records are about as dirt cheap as you can get. Um, I think the value is there, and it's unmatched. So, thank you for watching my videos. Get into vinyl. Let's get into these records. There's about 40 records here. No, I spent $40 on these records. I'm not sure how many there are. And I'm building up a base of jazz. So the beginning is going to be a lot of jazz. But there's some rock and roll. There's some other, uh, there's a rap album in here. Um, and uh, some other stuff too. So stay tuned. Watch the whole thing. Comment. Like the video. Uh, tell me what you think. Let's get started though. Okay, this is a 2LP uh, set, The Best of Jazz. And this is a three called Jazz Stars featuring a whole bunch of really good jazz artists. Um, you know, that's, uh, I like these sets. I like these uh, thicker, thicker things. I've got a couple of them of classical music. Um, haven't listened to those yet, though. Count Basie uh, featuring B.B. Uh, King as a guest vocalist. That's kind of cool. And uh, K-Star, I don't know who she is. But I'm hoping that she's like a Billie Holiday or an Ella Fitzgerald, and she's singing along with Count Basie and his uh, orchestra. Uh, I've never heard of K-Star. Anybody out there know K-Star? Got a bunch of other uh, jazz, or no, big band, actually. We got Goodman, Dorsey, and Shaw. I've heard of a couple of these guys, maybe all of them, actually, but I don't know much of their stuff, so this, this should be a cool, cool record. Ah, I got some more uh, Duke Ellington. Uh, this one's called Indigos. This one is a live uh, 1954 LA concert. And this one is called Magenta in Haze. Uh, which one, anybody a Duke Ellington fan out there? Which of these is uh, your favorite, if you are? Uh, I got some Louis Armstrong. Again, a lot of jazz here to kind of start. Um, who is this guy? Danny Kane. I'm sure I could look him up myself, but is anybody out there a fan of Danny Kane? Um, you know, I, I really don't know, don't know much about him. Excited to listen to that one. Uh, a Louis Armstrong, Greatest Hits. Uh, that's, this should be really cool. I think he's got one of the most unique singing voices, uh, that's just, you know, really good, and he's an awesome trumpet player, so... Uh, I got this because, well, like I said, I'm adding like jazz and like orchestra type stuff, kind of building up a bass. I still like that type of music. Um, and he does trombone. So we have trumpet. Uh, you're going to see a saxophone and a clarinet one coming up. But this is trombone. And uh, Glenn Miller, I know I've heard of him, but I, what I really like, I like the cover. This is another reason why vinyl is awesome. You got these big, huge covers. They're so cool, colorful. Uh, this is sweet. I have a Bing Crosby legendary performer uh, vinyl, and I have another one too of another guy, but I'm not sure what it is <laughs> or who he is, I should say. But uh, 
usually if you have a vinyl that that's made by this this company um, looks like RCA with this cover you're usually pretty awesome so uh, I'm gonna I took a chance with that I said we had a saxophone one this is Boots Randolph Yakety Sax and I said we had a clarinet one coming up so Benny Goodman I've heard of him and uh, he plays uh, world favorites uh, with his clarinet uh, this should be both of those should be really cool. Um, okay, this one I want to talk about for a second. Help me out, guys. This is the rap album I was talking about. KRS One. I know who KRS One is. Some of the guys featuring is Buckshot, Cameron, uh, Redman, Run of Run DMC. Those are pretty pretty big names in rap. Uh, not huge, but uh, you know this is a weird cover for a rap album. Uh, I don't know. Like we got some some uh, oh periodic element chart things here I'm pretty sure um, no guns on the cover <laughs> you know I guess that's a stereotype but um, what was weird and I need your help with guys is uh, first off I want to comment I thought this was cool I, I don't have a colored album yet and this is kind of like tie-dye uh, bluish whitish um, and what I thought was at first a doodle is actually a signature. Does that look like Sid 99 to you guys like it does to me? Got it on the other side too. Let's, uh, let's do this um, again. Whoops. I'm sorry guys. Sid 99. The uh, it says DJ Rectangle, the ultimate battle weapon, uh, from Twist and Tangle Records. Now this this was uh, released in 1998, and I can't find out anyone who is named Sid or anything about Sid 99 from Twist and Tangle Records. Um, who is Sid 99? I'm 99 is probably the year that he signed it, but who's Sid? Anybody out there know who Sid is? I've Googled it, Googled him with with the record name. I don't know who he is. Uh, Sid, if you're watching, I have one of your signed LPs. Uh, get at me. Thank you. <laughs> this I thought was funny. Uh, I didn't know Bruce Willis made any type of music or uh, did any type of anything other than acting. And here he is getting down. I mainly bought this as a laugh. I'll probably listen to it just to find out how he sings, but I, I mainly bought that for uh, a laugh. Um, Symphosium and Blues. I bought this because it said blues. I didn't even really look at the inside. But we've got to take another quick minute to talk about this. Um, Ella Veal, or Ella Veal, uh, Therapy Often Helpful in Depression. Is is this blues or is this a, like a therapy blues LP? One of the things it says here is Ellaville is indicated in moderate to severe depression, has a mild tranquilizing component to its action, which makes it of special value in depressed patients, which or with associated mild anxiety or agitation. Now I don't have depression. Um, we all have stress and anxiety, but if I play this, am I supposed to feel better? Uh, you know, if I'm studying for a test, writing a paper, is this going to make me feel better? Uh, I know there's music therapy out there, but I didn't know anything, you know, I guess I've never had anything like that, so I didn't know it existed. Um, you saw my other video that I had a Thunderball 007 video, or uh, LP, and uh, so when I saw Goldfinger, I thought, you know, like this would be cool, and I'd like to add some more 007 to my collection. I'm looking for uh, You Only Live Twice and the one with Live and Let Die, uh, the Beatles song on there too. A couple more left here, guys. My Way, Frank Sinatra. Again, you guys know by now I'm a big Sinatra fan. Didn't have that record, though. My grandpa would love this. Fats Domino, million record hits. Uh, I mainly just bought this because my grandpa used to love Fats Domino, and he still does. Uh, but this, uh, this was cool. Didn't have this Rush record yet. This one's called Hemispheres. Uh, the only song I know on it is The Trees, but if you know anything about Rush, they always have drum solos and some amazing bass 
riffs. So I'm pretty excited to listen to it and uh, you know check it out for the first time. It might end up being one of my favorite albums by them. Got two more left. Sorry, we're already over ten minutes, but we'll make it quick. I don't know any of the songs on Crash Landing except for uh, Message to Love. Um, you know, everyone knows Electric Ladyland and uh, oh, War Heroes, but I don't, I don't know this one, Crash Landing. I'll have to look it up when I'm done making this video. But if you, uh, if you know anything about it, um, or if it's one of those. Uh, I don't know if Jimi Hendrix made a bad album, but maybe this one's it. Uh, you know, let me know. Anybody out there looking for this? And last one, uh, you know, another Louis Armstrong, "Hello Dolly." I just, I just know his song "Hello Dolly" is one of his biggest songs ever, and this is the one with it as the lead single. And uh, I just love the cover. Isn't it awesome? <laughs> like. Uh, he looks like he's having a great time um, playing wherever he's playing. Got his trumpet in hand, and he's smiling, probably singing a song. He's got an amazing voice. Uh, I just thought this was a really, really cool record to have. And uh, Oops, better make sure that's not falling out there. Um, yep, got a nice plastic cover for it to keep it nice and safe. Um, so hello, Dolly, to finish it out. So, again, guys, those were a stack of mostly jazz, got some rock and roll, a Bruce Willis one, a rap one. Uh, I'd really appreciate the comments if you guys could help me out with that rap one. Uh, I don't know where that came from. Like, who are you, Sid? Um, if you guys like, like the videos, let me know. Um, is there anything I can do different to make these better? I'm open to suggestions. Um, but again, thank you guys for watching. We're over 12 minutes now, so I'm going to stop jabbering around and let you guys get on with the rest of your day. Keep on rocking, guys. Rock and roll is here to stay. So is jazz and vinyl. So uh, have a good day, guys. Take it easy.